love you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord, for another opportunity you, to serve you right here live on KAZ Radio. And we just want to give you all the praise and the honor and the glory that's due your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm looking forward to another show. Oh, what is all that feedback coming from? Where is all that feedback coming from? Okay, amen. Hallelujah. There we go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Give me a sound check, Michelle. You have just logged on to the Prayer Connection. The Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. Sounds good to me. Sounds like it's going to work. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I wonder if I could get ready to start, Michelle. We got three minutes of show time. Three minutes till show time. And we will be live on the air serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me just take one more look at that picture. That's, that's, that's interesting. I think I know what that is too. Okay. Thank you, Lord. We got two minutes till show time. Two minutes till show time. Right here on Cleveland's online inspiration station. This is your online apostle. As a matter of fact, I like to call myself the apostle of the airwaves. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> well, praise God. We want to just thank you for tuning in to KAZ Radio, Cleveland's online inspiration station. And today, it's another prayer connection. And you know you love prayer connection. You know you love none other than my friend and yours, Sister. Or was it minister? Minister? Sister Minister Michelle Elijah Rice. Take it away, Michelle. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Bless your holy name, God. We give you praise. And I thank you that you have just logged on to the prayer connection where you make a connection with God. Yes, this is the prayer connection. Where you make a connection with heaven. Hallelujah. And anytime we come to pray, I always, always like to give you a little prayer nugget that will help you in your intercessions, help you in your prayers, help you in your petitions, and help you in your praise towards God. And today's prayer nugget with your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice, comes right from 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 2. It reads... I exhort, therefore, that first of all, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in our godliness and honesty. So we see here in the text that he said, he said, he said make supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks for all men. So somebody say all. All men. So that means everybody. Not just your clique. <laughs> not just your clan. Not just your friends. Not just your family. Not even just your church or your city. But he says, he says, make supplications and prayers and intercessions and give good thanks for all men. That's, that means mankind. It doesn't just mean the male man, the M-A-L-E man, but it means the female man. Everybody. So our prayers cannot be egocentric. They cannot be egocentric. It's not about me and my four no more. It's not about me and my bills, God, and me and my house, God, and me and me, 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 me. Hallelujah is about somebody else. So we're going to pray for all men today, kings and all those are in authority, that we may lead a godly and peaceable life. We don't want to be egocentric in our prayers. We want to be selfless. We take ourselves out of the equation and pray for somebody else. Because while you pray for somebody else, guess what? Somebody's praying for you. Because as a man soweth, that should he also reap. You sow prayers, 
You're going to read prayers. You sow intercessions, somebody going to intercede for you today on the prayer connection. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father God, we give you the praise that's due unto your name, Lord God. Father God, we give you the honor, Lord God. You're so worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be thanked. You're worthy to be worshipped. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy to be glorified. You're worthy to be magnified. You're just worthy, God. We serve a worthy God. You're just worthy, Lord God. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. And you are mighty God. You are the King of glory, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we bless your holy name. We say bless you, O oh Lord, with all our soul and all that's within us. We bless your holy holy name. Your name is holy today, God. Your name is holy. Your name is righteous. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, uh, we know it's not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, Father. So we ask in you in the name of Jesus Christ to, Father God, have your way today on this program. Have your way in our prayers, oh God. In the name of Jesus, get the glory, oh God. Lord God, we just want to bless you. We want the prayer, Lord God, to be what you want to pray about. I might have my thought. I might have my plan. But you said it's not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit. You said, Lord God, it's not unto us, not unto us, but unto your name give glory. We need the Holy Ghost today. I realize we really, we need the Holy Ghost. We can't pray in our own strength. We can't pray our own agenda. We can't pray our own thoughts, God. We need to, we need to pray what's on the heart of God. That's why we need the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost that empowers us. It's the Holy Ghost that gives us strength. It's the Holy Ghost that gives us wisdom. It's the Holy Ghost that gives us a knowledge to pray. It's the Holy Ghost that gives us understanding in the spiritual realm. So we need you today. We realize we need you. I don't know about nobody else, but I know I need you, Lord. I need your anointing. I need your burden removing, yoke destroying power, God. I need your strength. I need your power. I need your Holy Ghost. Father God, in the name of Jesus, one thing I know when we come to pray, we can't come with, with blood on our hands. We can't come with sin in our lives. Father God, so I'll be like David. I say, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. God, create in us. And there's others praying along. I pray that you create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. You said, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand into his holy place with that man, that woman? They got clean hands and a pure heart who have not lifted up their soul into vanity nor sworn deceitfully. This man shall see the Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. You said that my people who are called by my name, if they just humble themselves and pray and turn. So you got to turn. Hallelujah. You got to turn from our wicked ways. You said that we just turn. You will hear from heaven. You forgive our sin. And you will heal the land. And then you said that your eyes will be attentive and your ears open into the prayer that is made into this place. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we are praying today, God, we're not praying egocentrically. We're not praying selfishly. But we're praying for somebody else. Matter of fact, God, we're praying for the nation today. It's a lot of things going on. God, we know we're about to embark on a, pres a presidential election. We know we're about to embark on even the even a general, general election in November, God. We're praying today as Christians. As Christians, we got to cast our vote, God. We got to have a say-so. My Bible tells me that they let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom the Lord has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom the Lord has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. We got to we have, we have, we have to have a say so in the law. We got to have a say so in the country. We got to have a say so in the government. We got to have a say so in leg legislations. We have to have a say so in the land. If we don't vote, we don't have a say so. God, the bigger let the enemy do what he want to do, how he want to do it, with whom he want to do it to. So, God, we pray that we will come together as Christians. We will vote, God. We put up, we put, we'll put our, our vote in. We'll cast our vote. It's a right. It's a privilege. So, Father God, I pray, oh God, that you will arrest us all, God. Let us come out on the polls and pray and, and, and pray first and then cast our vote, God. According to what you want, God, we pray for the mind of Christ. You said we can have the mind of Christ. Father God, we pray for the mind of Christ to, to vote correctly. That we can pray for the man and the woman that you will have in office. That you will have the issues that you want to come to pass in the land. God, we just can't sit back and let 
the legislators keep on infiltrating more and more demonic legislations in the land and we sit back and let them do it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that that, that diabolical scheme and law, law about the, about the justifying and legislating uh, marijuana to make it legal, God, in the name of Jesus. See, the enemy knows if I can get get a hold of the mind of man. We know that God, we, drugs can impair the thought process. You're not as clear. You're not as sharp. You're not as keen and keen in your mentality when you're under the influence of drugs, when you're under the influence of marijuana, when you're under the influence of alcohol. He knows I can it's an easier interest. Soberness, you have a little bit more stance about yourself. But when you're not sober in your thinking, you said be sober minded. So the enemy knows if I can get them drugged in their mind, I can make an access. Make it make my God, Satan said I make my access easier. So God, we cannot, we shall not pass a law to make it legal to give the enemy extra footage. You say give no place to the devil. Don't give him no territory. Keep gotta keep giving him space. We have to keep giving him access. Matter of fact, we shut him down. My Bible said, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. And that access the enemy wants in the minds of our people. God, we shut it down in the name of Jesus. We shut the thing down in the name of Jesus. My Bible tells me in the name of Jesus, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Places. That's where the leg legislators and demonic legislations and demonic laws are passed. Like this gay marriage. Oh God, it was a principality. He gave an order out and he delegated authorities to bring it to pass. God, we got to step into this a political agenda. We got to step into the political arena with our prayers and with our votes and with our votes and in our prayers. With our prayers and with our votes and with our votes and in our prayers, God. So, so that the kingdom of God will have free course. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We want your kingdom to come on earth. We want your agenda, the agenda of heaven to be the agenda of earth. We want the law of heaven, which is the Bible itself, to be the law on earth. God, the kingdoms of this world has to be translated over to the kingdom of our Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father God, another issue that we are listening to on the land of God in our nation, God. In the name of Jesus, about the immigrants, God. And I know we have a political stance and everybody got their own beliefs. But my Bible tells me that God, all you, you said in your word that it's not male, no female, bond or free, Jew, no creed. In other words, there's no, you know, you are no respecter of persons. God, you know respect for prayer. You, you, want, you, you are for all men, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray to God that they, you will work out this situation with the immigrants, God. As they try to cross the border, they, they are they seeking, seeking a better life, seeking a promised land. Father God, they're seeking employment. They're seeking a newness. They're seeking deliverance, God. In the name of Jesus, my Bible tells me in Psalms 24 that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. The earth is yours, God. Every inch of this planet is yours. Every Every inch of the earth realm is yours. The United States is yours. Mexico is yours, God. Canada is yours. All the lands are yours, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And I, I, don't, I believe in my heart, God, that your heart is for those of the downtrodden. Your heart is for those that don't have. Your heart is for those that are helpless. Your heart is for those that are jobless and, and poor, God. And I believe that, that, that those, those people that are in where they just want to cross that border, God, to get a new life, God. How can we hinder them, God? In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray, oh God, that you would do a just work a miracle amongst them, God. It's about eleven million, I believe. Eleven million immigrants have crossed. God, we gotta pray, God, that you would get do a work, God. Somehow, some way, God. Work it all out, God, in the name of Jesus. Help them get citizenship. God, I, I know the political stance, and we don't want them. We want these people, but God, you for all people, all classes, all creeds, all colors, all cultures, all nationalities, all races, as you, God, you made them all. Father God, you know respect to persons. Have your way in this situation concerning the immigrants. God, we put it in your hands. We put it in your hands. We take it out the hands of the law and we put it in the law of God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we give you glory. Father God, we give you praise and honor, oh God. We just say, have your way, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Oh, God, we get the glory in everything we do. Get the glory in our prayers today, Father, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, God. We bless your holy name, God. We praise your holy name. We worship you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, God, another issue that's on the table that we need to pray about as a people. He said, he said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of prayer. My people are destroyed for lack of understanding. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of wisdom. So I'll be praying concerning this nuclear deal, God, in the name of Jesus, according to Matthew 10. My Bible tells me, Matthew 10, 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there was nothing covered that should not be revealed, and hid that should not be made known. For there is nothing covered, there is nothing covered, there is nothing covered that should not be revealed, and hid that should not be made known. Father God, I know the opposition to many people that they come to the situation, God. They're saying that Iran, you cannot be trusted. We can't trust them. They're untrustworthy. They've proven themselves untrustworthy, God, in the name of Jesus. But we don't even know, do they really have? We nuclear weapons or not, but God, your my Bible tells me there's nothing hidden that should not be revealed. So, Father God, we we, we God as we go into negotiations, Father, God, we pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that your spirit will reveal everything that is covered, every diabolical plot, every diabolical plan. If it's infiltrating in our rear. God, just keep, keep on revealing it. Every time they try to just reveal, reveal. We pray for divine revelation. We pray for everything that's covered. Everything is hidden to be to be covered. We pray that right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that's not known shall be made known. Every Everything that's hidden, God, you will bring it to the light. You said the light shines into darkness and the darkness comprehends it not. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we know as you know the Bible says at the end times that it's wars and rumors of wars. It, all kinds of wars. It didn't say whether well, it's a nuclear war, what kind of war? But you said, oh God, it's a sign of the end times that that is there's wars and, and rumors of wars. But God, you told us to pray, not to be afraid, but pray in the, in this season and time about these things. So God, in the name of Jesus, we stop a nuclear war. Father God, we abort the assignment in Satan's womb. Satan has already plotted and planned for a nuclear war. But God, we take authority. We go into the bowels of hell right now by our spirit, via spirit. And we abort the assignment of the nuclear war. We abort it in the name of Jesus. We cancel that thing out in the name of Jesus. Satan, we abort it in your womb. You want to birth it out. You want to birth out a nuclear war that will destroy the devastation of, of mankind. You you already got it plotted. You already got a plan. You got a strategy. You got a trick. You got a wow. You got a stratagem. But we go into the we go into the regions of hell via prayer and we and we abort the assignment in the womb we abort the principality that has gave orders out to Eve to those wicked men to bring it to pass Father God we abort it God in the natural you're not you're not for abortion but in the spirit you like us to abort we have authority to bind and loose whatever we bound on earth shall be bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven we abort it in the womb of the spirit it will never we we declare that Every the U.S. said blockades and hindrances to every plotting of that assignment. We abort it. We abort it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we give you praise. We give you glory, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, Father God, we pray for the agenda in the school system. God, sometimes right behind our back, right under our nose, God, the curriculum. God, we, we curse the curriculum that infiltrates gay marriage, that, that pushes it, that pushes a point that this is an alternative lifestyle. It's not an alternative lifestyle. There's only one lifestyle, male and female. So, God, we come against that agenda. It's an agenda in the curriculum. God, let it be exposed. Let the parents see the truth. Let the parents see the agenda of Satan infiltrating in the school system that they're teaching our children under our nose while we have our backs turned this agenda. Father God, we are cursing in the name of Jesus. We curse it from the root in the name of Jesus. That the diabolical plan, the, the agenda in the school system infiltrated by the enemy himself. We abort that too. We cut it off from the root. We'll be like David and we'll cut the head off of the Goliath. Every Goliath in the land. The Goliath is just a strong man. The giants in the land of the agenda. We cut it off at the neck. We cut off his head and we bring the head to God and say, Lord God, we have stricken the enemy. We have weakened the enemy. We have paralyzed the enemy. We have impaired the enemy in his tracks in the name of Jesus. 
Father God, you said cast down those imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bring it to captivity, every thought into the obedience of Christ and having this readiness to revenge all disobedience when our obedience is fulfilled. When that agenda is going across that, going across the school, to the, the classroom, give our children dull ears. This dull as a as a as a as a, as a, de, as a demonic assignment is being spoken. This dull their ears. They're here but not here. You know how sometimes you can hear something but don't hear it. God, I pray that I truly have that anointing to hear and don't hear, hear and don't hear. That they hear it but it won't go into their spirit. Hear it but it won't be lodged in their mind. Hear it but it won't be in their conscience. Hear it. It will not infiltrate their lives. I hear it and they will not partake of it. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over our children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we give you glory, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, got another issue, oh God, that we, we, we talk about and we concern about as a people, as a nation. Oh God, it's a global warming. God, they talk about we talk about the pollutants and the climate and the, and all the all the pollu pollution that the, that the, that the, that the energy that we're using now is being put into the atmosphere. Father God, so my Bible tells me you call us stewards. The earth is the Lord's, the fullest of rough, and they that dwell therein. We are stewards over the earth realm. The heavens and the heavens you rule, but the earth you've given unto the children of men. You said, I call, you put Adam in the garden to dress it and to keep it. And you put Adam on the earth realm to dress it and to keep it. You give him a dominion over the birds of the air and the fowls, the fowls of the air, the beasts of the field. You give us authority in the earth realm. You put us in charge of the earth realm. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. He rules in the second realm. He has dominion in the second realm and the atmospheric heaven realm. But the earth realm, we rule in the name of Jesus. And the only way he can get into the earth realm, he has to come through a body legally to enter into it, to do things in the earth realm. He has to come through a body, come through a person. That's the legal interest. Otherwise, he has no legal interest. So, God, we just put a block in the name of Jesus. Father God, the enemy would like to just keep come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But we pray, oh God, that there be a conclusion. Go, oh God, that there will be a coming together on one accord concerning our climate, concerning what they wanted, with concerning the climate of our global climate, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I know, oh God, it takes money from the coal industry. I know it takes money from big business, oh God, to go from one type of energy to the, to the solar energy, to the windmills. But God, if that will save our planet, Father God, the planet, as a matter of fact, we know the planet will exist until you come home, until Jesus comes back. God, God, so we have to infiltrate, we have to subvert it. We subvert an early, early demise of the earth. Yes, sir. We, 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 we destroy the early demise, Father God. We pray for a retroactive action, retroactively reversing everything in the climate, God. God, just do a word. Father God, our life and times in your hands. We don't know all the answers. We don't even know how to pray it so specifically, so 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 uh so intricately. So these things we just laid in your lap. We laid it in the lap of the judge of judges, the king of kings, the lord of lords, Jesus Christ. We put this in your hand concerning the climate. We put you, this in your hands concerning the nuclear weaponry. We put it in your hands, God, in the name of Jesus, the presidential race. We put it in your hands, God, and most of all, the presidential race. We ask, God, that you will put the man or the woman who you choose to put in office. God, let that man rule. Let that woman rule. Let that president be your choice. Hallelujah. We had to, sometimes, God, if we put, put the wrong person in, we have a reign of, of evil. Father God, so we asking you today, pr we pray, God, that you will put in our hearts, put in our minds, put it in the hearts of men, not just Christians, but God, even non Christians, who you want in office. We don't want nobody in office that's, that, that will cause to be a forest. We don't, we're not in it for shenanigans. Let God, don't let, don't this block. This block the block block they block the block the flow of, of shenanigans and, and foolishness in the in the presidential race, God. We need wisdom. We need wisdom. He said, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God who give it to all men liberally, and if not, and it shall be given him. We ask for supernatural wisdom. Father God, you said that you will open up our eyes of our understanding, that we will know the hope of our calling, what the riches of the glory and the inheritance in the saints is. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We pray for the existing president, President Barack Obama, as, as he... As he is, is in his final times, God, that you will continue to give him wisdom. You will continue to give him knowledge. Father, the enemy, <coughs> the enemy wanted to, he plotted years ago to assassinate him. 
couldn't do it. Saints were praying. Somebody was praying for the president. But he could, they couldn't. He, the enemy wanted to kill him, but he couldn't because God, you blocked it. The enemy had a plot and a plan to take his life. But because somebody prayed, God, thank God for the intercessors. Thank God for those that pray. Don't thank God for those that make supplications. Thank God for those that make to make petitions. Thank God for those that make prayers, God. Thank you, Lord God. It's the prayers of the righteous that covered him. It's the prayers of the righteous that keeps him strong. It's the prayers of the righteous that leads him. It's the prayers of the righteous. It's the prayers of the righteous in the name of Jesus. It's the prayers of the right righteous that caused that no weapon formed against him could ever prosper. It's the prayers of the righteous that kept his <coughs> children from being kidnapped. It's the, it's the prayers of the righteous that nothing happened to Michelle Obama. It's the prayers of the righteous, God. And I pray for the intercessors all over the land that they'll step it up. Step it up. We are in the last days, God. We are in the last days, God. And we got to step up our intercession. We got to step up our prayers, God. We can't be egocentric in this season. We cannot be egocentric in this time. We cannot be egocentric, but we must be selfless. And we have to pray for those that's higher than ourselves. Our prayers got to go beyond the four walls. Our prayers got to go beyond our church walls. Our prayers got to go beyond our city. Our prayers got to go beyond the state. Our prayers got to go beyond the borders. got to go beyond the other lands, all the territories. Our prayers got to go in other, other other spheres. Our prayers got to go in distant realms. Our prayers got to travel. Father God, I pray right now that we get our bags packed in the spirit realm. Everybody get your bags packed in the spirit realm because we about to take off. The Christians, Christian, the intercessors are getting their bags packed. But they know they got to travel. They can't just stay in this land. They can't stay in the natural land. But in the spirit realm, our bodies might be in the natural land, but our spirits will travel. Our spirits will ascend. Our spirits will take on flight, God, and travel all across the land. Father God, I pray for the midnight intercessors. I pray for the 6 a.m. intercessors. I pray for the 5 a.m. intercessors. You got you got an intercessor praying every hour on the clock for one for 12 o'clock noon to 12 o'clock midnight all the way back to 12 o'clock noon again. You got a 24 hour prayer vigil going on. There's prayers always going up. You said the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The prayers of effectual fervent prayers of a righteous woman availeth much. The prayers of effectual perfect prayers of a righteous girl a righteous boy availeth much. And there's a 24 hour prayer vigil going on keeping the prayers. They're like sweet incense in incense in your eyes in your nostrils. The prayers of the righteous. You have preserved the prayers of the righteous. In the name of Jesus. Father God we give you glory and we give you praise God. Hallelujah to your name. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you always hear our prayers. Because we pray in the name of Jesus. And pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. We have taken authority today. According to Luke 10, you say I give you power over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means will hurt us. God, I put a shield about all the intercessors. No backlash. No back, no backlash because we pray today. It won't, no repercussions because we pray. Because I plead the blood over all of us, all over the land, all over the city of Cleveland, all over Euclid, all over the state of Ohio, all in the regions, all in the land. But somebody was praying in Africa, God, still they plead the blood over them. Plead the blood of those in Australia. Plead the blood of those all in China. Plead the blood of Jesus over those in Russia, all those in the Switzerland. Everybody was praying in the land. Somebody in London, somebody in London, England. We plead the blood of Jesus over them. God, we are kept. No backlash. No, no, no backlash against us, we pray. We are kept by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Woo! Well, says I thank you today that you joined in with me. Your sister in Christ, Michelle, writes on the prayer connection where you make a connection with God. Yes, you just joined me today on the prayer connection. Where you make a connection with heaven. Don't let this be your last time to pray this week. Pray every day. So God can give you your daily bread. I will see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. And most of all, our Christ loves you. Bye bye.